and about King Von. In December 2017, King Von gets out of jail after beating all of his charges on that murder case. This was apparently the result of his co-defendant Big Mike initially attempting to put the blame on Von, admitting to the cops that he fired shots, but suggesting that King Von was the killer who shot fatally, implicating himself in the crime, but suggesting that he was going to cooperate with the police. Meanwhile, King Von kept his mouth shut entirely, not saying a word for the entire three and a half year wait for trial. And once his day in court came, because he'd not said a word, Von was acquitted and Big Mike, who admitted firing shots that night was sentenced to 28 years, in the end of refusing to implicate King Von in court at all, with Von even later dropping lyrics that suggested that a witness had been murdered in the process of him beating his case. So, while Von is celebrating being fresh home from jail, his main opposition are beginning to make waves in the music industry. In January 2018, FBG Wooski drops the very disrespectful track Computers. FBG Duck was dancing in the video, and the track itself was crammed with disses aimed at fallen members of O-Block on their side of the wall. He dissed Big A, J Money, OD, Chino, and more names associated with 600, a set affiliated with Oblock, that we're not going to focus on in this story for simplicity's sake. But it wasn't just Wooski looking to start trouble with his enemies. In February 2018, the music video for FBG Duck's smash hit drill song Slide releases. The chorus of the song is quite literally Duck inviting his ops to slide on him and fire shots in his direction. And the entire music video is basically just Duck rapping whilst toting a gun with a drum magazine surrounded by shooters, giving the camera an open invitation for anybody in Chicago to come and slide on him. Setting aside the sentiment of these lyrics, Duck was doing what his mother had told him to do when Brick passed away, focusing his energy on music rather than the streets. And sliding on a song rather than sliding on an actual drill really paid off for Duck. He allegedly signed a $2 million record deal off the back of Slide, but on the other hand, it is easy to overlook the real message of that song, which really is an open invitation for any of his enemies in the city to come and find him and kill him. Now, clearly not content with the opposition having some success in the music industry, since beating his murder case and coming home, King Von decided to use his interesting backstory to kickstart a career in drill music too. On May 27, 2018, dropping the song Beat That Body with fellow body beater THF Bezu, a track coming with insane lyrics where Von essentially cops to catching that body, beating it and saying that he plans to catch even more. Von's insane backstory would be irresistible to fans of Chicago drill music. But while FBG Duck had promised his mother to focus on music rather than sliding in the streets, the same couldn't really be said for King Von, who while beginning his career as a part-time rapper, didn't seem to have any plans on giving up his full-time role as an O-Block driller. And in the months following King Von's musical debut, killings would still play out on the street with King Von directly plugged into the action. The next unfortunate life to be lost in this story is a friend of FBG Ducks by the name of Can't Get Right, aka Man Man. Duck is seen in a vlog hanging out with Man Man back in the day. You got two game, man, man. You got fake look. Yeah, yeah. Everything in two game, man, man. Interestingly, throughout this interview, Can't Get Right is looking over his shoulder and looking out for Duck the entire time. Just goes to show you how unsafe you really are standing on these blocks. And this was in an interview where Duck shockingly says that he will kill anybody who disses him. How come there's never any Chicago rappers really dissing FBG Duck? You know, they diss each other, but nobody really disses you for any... But they're gonna die. Right. It's not, it's not for play. I'm, you diss me, I'm gonna kill you. Unfortunately, on July the 16th, 2018, Can't Get Right, aka Man Man, real name DeAndre Wallace, is waiting for food outside of a store on the 400 block of East 63rd Street. At some point, two people pulled up and waited outside. And when Can't Get Right was spotted coming out of the store, two men ran up opening fire, killing both their target and an innocent bystander who was just there sweeping up outside of the restaurant. Once again, CCTV footage captured the shooting and witnesses on the scene with their smartphones captured the aftermath in scenes that are far too shocking to show you on YouTube. Both men were pronounced dead at University of Chicago. Chicago hospital. We are looking for the gunman who killed two men overnight. They were standing outside of a store in the city's Woodlawn neighborhood when someone started shooting. A 43-year-old man was shot in the chest. He died at the hospital. The other victim, a 22-year-old, also died. Police say the 22-year-old is a known gang member and was the intended target. And to make matters worse, it's said that FBG Duck was shot the same day in an incident said to have taken place some hours later at a different location. Though for the record, some have suggested that Duck might have been shot in the same incident as Can't Get Right, but may have only been found with injuries later on away from the scene, refusing to give an accurate report of his involvement. But regardless of what actually went down, it just goes to show you just how unsafe FBG Duck was staying in his city even after 
for becoming such a successful rapper with a big deal. But in some ways, even more crazy than the crime itself was what went down on social media immediately afterwards. As King Von would go live on Instagram the same day as the double murder, alongside Mimo 600, apparently from Atlanta, with the sole purpose of mocking his deceased ops. And I've got to tell you, this live is wild. It's truly a masterclass in self-snitching. They start off lighting a blunt, saying can't get right, and asking the viewers what just happened. There you go. Can't get right. There you go. There you go. Can't get right. Because I can't get right. I know. Everybody, not at one time. What just happened? Oh, What just happened? A lot of glitches in Oh, you right there. We tell me. Who got killed? That's what I'm asking y'all. Who got killed, gang? Yeah. Can't get right. Got killed. Can't get right. If somebody show me a picture, I don't think I know y'all talking about. Is this can't get is that can't get right? Hold on, is sure. this him? Is this can't get right? <laughs> this ain't called snitching, I'm just trying to get verified. From here, people start commenting in the chat, can't get up. And it seems like the O-Block hitters are so amused by this wordplay that they basically just confess to being involved in the murder on the spot. Can't get up. Oh, oh no. <laughs> they always make some shit before we do it. They beat us to it every time. See, y'all should start killing people. Oh, we Cause y'all be <laughs> doing this, he's doing the man. Oh, Steve, this thing crazy. After this, we see the crew say that it was two people down and that they're gonna have to roll another one, whoever it is, seemingly unaware that the second person who was killed at that scene was just an innocent cleaner. They said two down. Damn. Two men that no, nah, I can't oh, take. Oh damn, they said it on two both our lives. Two pieces. Two pieces. I can take. Somebody roll another one. Can't Fuck take it. Whoever else got hit. Real talk. These guys are so twisted. They even started to react mockingly to their ops posting long tributes to their fallen friends on Instagram. You see that paragraph under that picture? You know it's over. Damn, damn best friend. You just told me to pop out. I remember back in the days when doo 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 doo. You just told me to pop out, best friend. <laughs> Why the fuck you do me like this, you bogus as hell? They ain't try to, bitch. They gonna be dissing the sound, you. Oh, you know, you better not get done like that. <laughs> From here, they keep mocking the ops by specific block and saying that the FN gave him a fade like Boosie. Steady taking losses. <laughs> ST fucking L. Steady taking losses. <laughs> Gave him a fresh fade, boosty boost. Why didn't they even put him on front street like he was even like that though? Then Von comes back and says straight up that he must have known he was going to die and that no one will care he's gone anyway. He probably knew he was gonna die. Oh, I wish I could talk to him. Was that? <laughs> don't nobody even care about can't get right like that. I don't think they're gonna slide like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think nothing finna happen because of that, so. They finna waste like, the rest of their money on that. We ain't even gonna act like nothing finna happen. Just y'all going to go in the house. Whoever ain't get shot, you lucky today. I'm finna go in the house. It's over. Then they even started reliving the hit, saying that their ops aren't even used to somebody jumping out of a car and firing a gun at them non stop. You ain't used to somebody just putting out a cut for real. Look Licking at, you, at your ass. Uh, really on your ass. You just. She get the flat pass your ear. You just wanna do like one of these because you're acting like you fake tough. Boy, them bitch get the hit in you. You damn, this shit, I can't move. Crump getting that there, little foe, they got move. you too. <laughs> <laughs> so while Von is on live bragging about this hit from another city, back in O-Block, Moowop posted a picture with Duke telling the world that they are shooters. E-Dog from O-Block jumped on Twitter to say that the get back is not over. Von would later tweet about there being a new op pack suggesting that his brothers are the one that made it. Meanwhile, FBG Duck was reacting to the loss of his close friend and his own shooting on his story saying that he was sick with grief. At this point, in my opinion, it is truly unbelievable that King Von really thought that he could manage and multitask his ties in both the streets and the music industry. By August, his song Problems is dropping on Lil Durk's Only The Family compilation album, with the whole song being about Von saying that he basically has hitters that are out catching bodies for him. 